Today we're going to learn about how to be a goalkeeper. First, you'll need the proper equipment. Gloves, cleats, shin guards, socks, and most importantly, a goal. Then you'll need a ball and somebody to shoot at you. Now you're ready. First, you're going to want to start off with the goalie position. This requires your feet to be roughly shoulder length apart, your knees bent slightly, your hands facing outward, and most of your weight leaning forward. Next, you're going to want to learn the basic shuffle. This requires you to not step in front of yourself, but shuffle your feet side to side so that you won't be tripping yourself, but you'll also be able to get from one end of the goal to the next accurately. And now we're going to start with a low dive. A lower dive requires you to be diving towards the bottom corners of your goal. This is for a low shot that doesn't leave the ground or a shot that just barely comes off the ground. First, you want to get your eyes focused on the ball. Try to tell where the ball is going before it gets to the goal. Once your eyes are focused on the ball and you think you have a pretty good idea of where it's going to go, start your shuffle to that spot. Once the ball is in the air, prepare yourself. Be ready for the dive. Make sure all your weight is leaning towards the side that you need to dive to so that you'll have all the momentum you need to get to the end of the goal and stop the shot. Now that the ball has already come to you, you want to put one hand behind it and the other hand sort of on top of it and push into the ground using the ground as a third hand. This will ensure that you don't lose the ball into the goal or to an attacker so they could shoot a goal on you. Now we move on to the high dive. The high dive is a very important key since it is most of your goal. First, just like the low dive, you want to focus your eyes on the ball. Now you want to get set. Get in the goalie position and watch the ball. Try to guess where it's going and then proceed to do your shuffle. Once the ball is in the air, get your chest to the ball Put all your pressure on your lead foot, the one that you are diving to, and then dive. Make sure that you get at least one hand to punch the ball away if you can't grab it. Or if you can grab it, grab it, take it to the ground, and then again use the ground as your third hand to maintain possession. If you can't catch the ball, make sure to punch or hit the ball away from your goal and other attackers, whether over your net or out of bounds. To punch the ball, you need to swing your opposite leg that you are diving with around your body along with the opposite hand and punch the ball or hit the ball away.